Hello everybody, welcome. This is Wendy Cranford, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm here to show you how to make a rectangle card in a box. Now I have made these types of boxes before. I have a video on how to make a square one, so I thought I would do one on a rectangle. Okay, I'm using Night in Bethlehem stamp set and Bethlehem edgelets to create this project. I absolutely love this set. And I'm using my Simply Scored scoring tool. And I'm going to, um, first of all, this is cut at um, 12 by four and a quarter. So I'm scoring at two, five, seven, and 10. And then I'm going to turn and score at two inches. I'm sorry, this was cut at four by 12, <laughs> not four and a quarter. And then I'm folding in half and I'm gonna fold on all the score lines to just kind of know where I need to trim and cut and stuff like that. I have two little pieces here that are cut at one inch by four inches and I scored at a half inch on each side. Okay, you can see here, I'm gonna cut away one of these little skinny tabs at the end and then I'm gonna cut up to the score line on each fold. Now this is actually going to be the top of my box, not the bottom, because the, this box doesn't need a bottom or a top as far as closure goes. Um, it's just gonna pop open. So now I'm gonna adhere all of my layers. I needed two layers that were cut at one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And I needed two layers that were cut at two and seven eighths. I'm sorry, four pieces that were cut at two, two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So now I'm just going to adhere all of those down. And you have to pay attention to how your box will open. So I wanted this night sky look to be the inside of my box. And so I'm layering all of these pieces on what will be the inside of the box. This side will be the outside of the box. Now all the measurements are the same, so it really doesn't matter which side you adhere things to. And frankly, you could cover every single piece if you wanted to. You would just have to cut extras of each thing that I've mentioned here. I was just running out of paper, and so I only decorated the front and the back of the outside of the box. All right, so now we're going to close this box up by using that little tab at the bottom. And you can just use Fast Fuse adhesive or tear and tape. I was out of Fast Fuse, so I ended up using tear and tape. And you do need to use something that is a strong adhesive because it is a box. So you really want it to stick together well and not come apart. So I am going to just now adhere this tab over the top of the other tab. And I always try to make whichever side is the so the solid fold my front. So the place where I um, folded that tab over, that would be the back of the box where the tab goes closed at. I don't know if that made any sense. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, these are the little pieces that are gonna go inside the box to create, to for me to be able to put my pop-ups on. So, I'm going to place them inside the box and just glue them in. It really doesn't matter how, where you put them, just know that the closer to the front you put them, the closer to the front your item will be. I mean, it's pretty logical. So I cut both of these out of silver foil and I'm lining them both up at the three inch mark and cutting them because the inside of my box is three inches. With the little leftover pieces that I cut off, I am going to glue them and place them in the back of the box which gives some stability to the back of the box for it to stick up straight instead of flopping over backwards. Um, if you don't want yours to stick up straight and you want it to flop over, then you would just adhere this to only the box part and let that other flap fall back. But I wanted mine to stay up, so it was like a night sky in the background. Then I'm using um, the little star that comes in this kit or I should say in this framelit set um, as kind of the North Star, the guiding star, however you want to say it. And I'm placing it on the top of the box and it sticks up just a little bit, but that's okay because I made this box small enough that 
Um, it will fit in a regular envelope, and even with that little bit sticking up out of the top, it still fits perfectly, and I will show you that. So there it is. I've just glued my pieces to the insides there. Now I have my sentiment that I've already stamped, and I cut the sentiment at two and a half inches by one and a half inches. And I ran completely out of all adhesives except for glue. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would have used Snell adhesive right here. So um, then I had already pre-stamped and pre-die cut the little shepherd and his sheep. And I'm going to place him down at the bottom. So when you look at the box, it's kind of as though he's looking up at this beautiful city scene with the sky. Now, when you close this all up, it closes like this nice and flat and then you can just slip it right into the envelope and it fits perfectly no problem and then I stamped on the front so really 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 cute card um, for people that I'm gonna send this to that are not card makers I'm going to attach a little note on the inside um, to the front of the card so that they're not they don't end up tearing it to pieces <laughs> trying to figure out how to use it because I don't think somebody would just automatically know that it just sits up so I'll probably create a little note. If you wanna see other videos from me, please click on either one of the images that you see here. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up, make a purchase with me. All these supplies are available on my online store listed below the video. Thanks so much, bye-bye.